We're taking time out of our busy lives to come into this place. Oh, Yahweh! We worship you today. Lay you down our lives so we can be like a sure Messiah.
songs man, stay in the car. Horses and take praise out way. And just dance by saying praise out. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. You know, be seated. Truly, thank Yahweh for another day that wasn't promised to us. And yes. Thank Yahweh for for that song from my beloved Pastor Hurley. You know, may Yahweh always continue to bless him Amen. and his heart uh, with songs. But I'm truly thankful to be here this day. I'm, you know, I thank Yahweh for that scripture that Brother Zeke read. You know, I think I just was magnifying Yahweh because His word is always good to hear and right on time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I'm thankful to be here tonight. I, I'm thanking Yahweh tonight for a beautiful wife for my children he's blessed me with. And thanking Yahweh for this house that we come to, to where the Spirit, you know, continues to work on us, continues to bring us on the higher heights and deeper depths. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Of course, we always say greetings to those that are watching our Facebook and, of course, in uh, Lubbock that may go back and watch the service, as well as those in, in uh, Pakula, Mexico City. Say greetings to you as well. But saints, it's a good night to be here. It always is a good night to be in Yahweh's house. It's, uh, you know, I always look at it as an opportunity to, to see where I stand in the faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, the word goes forth that, you know, it's there to save us from ourselves. You know, we may come in and we, we may feel a certain way about ourselves, but the spirit, you know, I thank Yahweh for his word and for his spirit. It's always shaping us and always molding us. Always. Hallelujah. You know, in here, you know, over time, you know that you, you learn that you cannot be at ease in Zion. Because the Spirit has always persuaded better things of us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But as always, we tell you to get your Bibles out to get ready to follow along with the man of God as they bring forth the word. We know that, you know, this time, you know, Yahweh's, we've given these over these hours over to Yahweh to speak to us. You know, we, we're here on Thursday night once again. It's, it's service night. It's, it's time to cast your cares at the door and come in and hear what Yahweh has to say to each and every one of us. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This time, let's get ready to see what the man of God would have to bring forth at this time. See our beloved. Eye. Go ahead. At this time, let us all stand and rise and receive our beloved Apostle Hurley by saying, Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh, Praise Yahweh saints. Amen. Is Yahweh good? All the time. Amen. You can be seated. Thanking Yahweh for another opportunity to come here. <clears throat> to hear the words of eternal life. Amen. Amen. To get stronger. To bring forth fruit. Hallelujah. I truly thank Yahweh to be in this place. <clears throat> I'm very thankful that Yahweh uh, called me. You know, Amen. at the age of 20 years old Amen. and brought me into this place, Amen. which was definitely a, a shocking experience, Amen. completely different from the way I was raised. Amen. 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 Not having Yahweh's spirit and being an alien from Yahweh. Amen. 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 Not even fit to be called a son of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even though I was walking around in his image. And according to the flesh, you know. We're all sons of God. According to the flesh. But according to that spirit. We've lost out on that. The world has lost out on that. Amen. 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 And we had no inheritance. With our father. Amen. Yahweh. Because. We had practically been stolen away by the devil. Everything good that we would have had with Yahweh, we didn't have anymore. Amen. And I spent the first 20 years of my life in that state. <clears throat> and it was rough. Amen. 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 You know, even though you can be out in the world and be a devil and have all those bad things, those curses in your life, you can still be spoiled rotten. And your life really isn't that bad Amen. if somebody on the outside looks at you. But I've, just, I've learned not to judge by that kind of stuff. I've learned to judge people by the torment of their heart Amen. and their mind. Amen. When you don't have Yahweh, when you don't have Yahweh in your life, 
You know, if you're born and raised in this way, chances are you don't know what I'm talking about right now. Amen. I mean, of course, you can be born and raised in this way and still have a bad spirit. Amen. You know, have to fight feelings and thoughts, stuff like that. But whenever you have lived so much time outside of this way and you just didn't have Yahweh in your life at all. It's, it's not a good thing. Amen. It's a horrible thing. Amen. 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 You know, you're troubled in the inside. You put on a good show on the outside like everything's okay. Because it's all you know. And you think, you guess this is all there is. Amen. But whenever I came to this place and heard the gospel preached, at, at the age of 20, in 1997, Amen. a while back now, been a while and I heard those words those words of eternal life those words that gave me a chance to be part of the promises and to be part of the things that Yahweh said he would do if we would just believe on his son Amen. Amen? amen and when I say believe on his son I'm talking about faithfully believe on his son not just believe he exists but be faithful to him and uh, I just, it's, uh, words can't express it, but maybe not perfectly. It's, it's something good Amen. that we've had the opportunity to be part of here. Amen. 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 We got a chance to get our lives all the way right. Hallelujah. All the way right. Yes. Amen. 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 Yahweh's been shaping me and molding me ever since. And uh, the only thing that slowed me down is me, right. not him. Amen. And so he, he's faithful. Yahweh is faithful to continue to work on you. Amen. He's the author and the finisher of your faith. Amen. 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 But he also does warn the idle minded, Amen. the slow of hearts. You can be in this place. And although we all struggle, you can fight not well. If you're not careful, you will not fight the good fight of faith in here. Meaning that you got your struggles and Yahweh's going to show you your shortcomings and your weaknesses. You're going to have to humble yourself to that every single time it happens. And come on up to where Yahweh wants you to be. Go on up to the next level that Yahweh is trying to take you up to. So that you can be ready to meet him on that last day. Amen. 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 That's what we got to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There was a mighty big whooping that took place a couple of days ago. And I definitely got my fair share of the smacks. Amen. 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 I know how I've been walking. Amen. And I know what I can do to do better. Amen. Amen. And uh, take that oversight. Amen. And help my fellow bishops Amen. to be better at supporting the mission. Amen. To not, not silently sit to the side when the Spirit wants me to act. Amen. 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 And I know that slowness to act comes from concentration that needs to take place on my part. Amen. Every single one of us needs to reevaluate Amen. what we're doing. Yes. Yes. I mean, if you do something too little, do it a little bit more. You're good. Move on to the next thing in your life. Amen. If you do something too much, do it a little less. You're good. Amen. The devil will try to blow what the spirit has to say out of proportion. And make you think it's too hard to serve Yahweh. When in all reality, it's too hard to keep doing what you're doing. Amen. 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 Apostle Washington had a lot of things to say. Last service. And you know what? We would all have a really good cause to be very offended if he wasn't telling the truth. (laughs) The man told the truth. And he did it out of love. He told the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. So Yahweh helped him. He really did. 
about every single one of us and how we need to be better and how we need to be stronger. And I, I appreciate that because it's not easy to talk to people that you know don't want to hear what you have to say. Amen. Amen. So that's why you got to gird up the loins of your mind. Put your hand back on the plow. Not to do wrong. But to do better. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. So let's let's make it a new day. Amen. Amen. Let's make it a fresh start for all of us to work on ourselves for the se- for, for the sake of your own soul Amen. and for the sake of every other person in church. Amen. 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 And Amen. for all of those souls that need a good example. Yes. Amen. They need to see something good from us. Amen. They need to hear something good from us. Amen. They need to see a smile. Amen. Amen. Apostle said, uh, somebody said, Look like they were jealous Amen. on the trip. Amen. Okay, well, somebody evidently did not hearken to all the many messages about how to fix your face. Amen. We all go through things, don't we? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We all go through things. Amen. When we don't understand, the face wants to show the I don't understand face. <laughs> when we're angry, the Face wants to show the hey, I'm angry. Better watch yourself. <laughs> Slow your roll, as they say. Amen. The face getting angry and choosing to show it is the exact opposite of what we teach. Because the next step is you want to throw down, as they used to say. Amen. If you got a face that says, come on, let's throw down. It starts with the face. Yeah. And we got to learn how to get our face under control. Amen. 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 Not, to, not to look like a maniac smiling constantly like Joker. <laughs> but, I mean, it look, at least have the face of a loving person. Amen. 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 Amen? A face of a person who's ready to rejoice with them that rejoice and Amen. weep with them that weep. Yes. Amen. Amen. And if somebody busts out crying and at least at least get a little bit welling up in your eyes <laughs> Can't be with them sometimes it's hard to cry when everybody else cries but that doesn't mean you don't care Amen. but if we at least got to come up to where we show people that we genuinely care the spirit says rejoice with them that rejoice weep with them that weep and what that means that's a challenge to us Amen. To, to learn how to love people more. Amen. Don't be satisfied with that hard heart of yours. Amen. Don't be satisfied with the, you know, really, honestly, I really don't care. Amen. Go to your best favorite person in the church and unload on them how you really think and how you really feel, which is contrary to what we teach. Amen. Don't hold on to any of that stuff. Don't feel comfortable to take anything to anybody in this place that you wouldn't say to Apostle Washington. Amen. Amen. If you won't take it, and if you wouldn't say what you're about to say to your best buddy in church, if you wouldn't say that to Apostle Washington, don't say it at all. Amen. Amen. This is something that each and every single one of us is going to have to live by. Amen. That's how it's going to stop the mess. So we can have one mind in this place. One judgment. He says, I'm not going to stop till y'all all all start thinking the way I think. It's human nature. Not one human being agrees completely with another. But the church says you need to be exactly like Yeshua. And he's not here. But the apostles are. And one out of all the apostles that you know is the greatest. So every apostle has to be like that apostle. Amen. And every other person in the church has to look to all the apostles. Amen. So long as they're acting like the greatest. Amen. 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 Does that make sense? 
So all your little side thoughts and all your little side comments that you feel comfortable with saying to all the other saints need to cut that mess out right now. Amen. Amen. I'm telling myself first and then I'm telling you. You understand? Amen. So we all wrestle with spirits. But Yahweh didn't bring us in here to have a different mind. He brought us all in here to have the same mind. That's why if you look around really careful and you start looking at the saints, and if you've been here for a while, you realize we love each other a whole lot more than we used to. Amen. That happened over time. Yes. Amen. All of us brothers and sisters going through things together, disagreeing with one another, but the Spirit said, y'all better get on one accord with me. Amen. Forget about your thoughts. Yes. Forget Amen. about your opinions. Yes, Remember that we have the adversary, the devil. He's a whisperer. He's the opposer. He's the diabolical one. He's the slanderer. Meaning that he's the one that comes in and tries to convince you to tell your thought. He comes in and tells you to feel free to speak your opinion and speak your mind and stay the way you are. But that Holy Ghost, which you claim you have, is constantly telling you. No. Amen. Amen. You can't keep what you are. It doesn't matter if you understand what Apostle Washington or us apostles are telling you. You got to deny yourself, forsake your way, Amen. forsake your own thought. Amen. If we tell you, don't be afraid of that thing that you're telling me about, you better get rid of that fear. Amen. The Bible says that we don't bear our sword in vain. I guarantee you, if you don't start doing what your leaders are telling you to do, we don't have to lay a hand. You'll just go your own way and you're going to keep on having problems in your life over and over and over again. And Yahweh, by His grace and mercy and forbearance, is going to allow you to keep living, hopefully, long enough to realize your way doesn't work. Amen. 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 Let's let's read Psalm 101. Amen. 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 Hallelujah, saints. Uh, uh, a lot of names were mentioned on Tuesday <clears throat> of people that are doing well. If your name wasn't mentioned, it was for one reason and one reason only. But it comes in two categories: one A and one B. But both of them are for reason number one. Yahweh's trying to shape you in some area is the reason why your name wasn't mentioned. It's not because he's written you off. It's not because he's done with you. It's not because uh, you're finished like on Mortal Kombat. <laughs> because you're still alive today, aren't you? So get yourself up out of that hole the devil told you to go get in. Get yourself up out of that because you can't do Yahweh's work in that little hole. Hallelujah. Hiding out in fear. Hiding out in doubt. Hiding out. Believing the devil's lie. Nobody understands you. Amen. Yahweh understands you. Yahweh loves you. Amen. Yahweh is better than you when it comes down to love. He's better at everything. He knows what to do. He knows what to, what to be concerned with in your life and what, what you don't need to worry about. Amen. And until we start really listening to Yahweh's voice, we're going to be worried about all the wrong stuff all the time. Amen. And, and, and one of the bishops is going to have to say, no, 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 don't talk like that. Amen. And always have to cut you off. Amen. And you're going to have to fight the trial of feeling like we don't care and we don't listen and Amen. But what does Psalm 101 say? Psalms 101 and 1, for it is written. Yes. I will sing of mercy. I will sing of mercy. Amen. Mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Until you really come to grips that Yahweh has shown you a lot of mercy and it becomes more than just words. Amen. 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 I had to talk. 
with my son. Not Michael. <laughs> my wife says, it would be good if you talk to your son. I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to say to him. I didn't have the words. Because Shanira's back. Amen? Amen. I mean, I can suffer myself to be defrauded till kingdom come. But because of our love for Sister Shanera, the spirit moved on my wife to tell me, you need to just say some words to Jeremiah. I did not know what to say to this young man. Because he's been kind of mean to Shanera. Just ugly spirit. And uh, so I had to talk with him. It probably lasted about 20-something minutes. I don't remember everything I said. I, go, I went in not having a clue what I was going to say. But one of the things I do want to say is I told him, I said, I blame myself completely for the state of my family. Amen? Amen. But I, I pleaded with him to... Be sweet. Be kind to your wife. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yahweh gave me good words, and I thank Yahweh. Amen. To, uh, Amen. You know, he, he did what he always did. He just sat there and stared at me and didn't have anything to say. Like he's been doing since he's probably 10 years old. <clears throat> but I gave him a hug and a kiss. told him, I said, I said, it's real easy to mistreat people. I said, but if you let Yahweh speak to your heart, you realize how wrong and bad it is to hurt people. I said, I'm hoping that I'm going to see the heart that I have in you. You know, because I, I, I said, you know, I told him, I said, you clearly are a compulsive liar. I said, but I'm hoping that that's just something that can easily be thrown to the side. And you can get on a true heart. And you realize that it's your lust that got you hurting people. I said, I'm willing to believe that you actually don't want to be this way. It's just this lust is so strong in you that, that, uh, you clearly need to humble yourself before Yahweh and come back and start serving him again. And I'm, uh, you know, long story short, Sister Shanair came back and said that he's been treating her really good from now on. And I give Yahweh all the praise. I told him, I said, if you see me as a just a horrible father, please forgive me. Amen. Amen. Because I look at my life like this. It is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. <laughs> Sometimes people can think you're a bad person and you didn't do anything bad. Some people can think you're a bad person and you did do stuff bad. And it can all get misconstrued and this here and that there. And it's the devil's job to make you give up. Right? right? But, but one of these days, every single one of us is going to have to own up to what we really have done wrong. And make the changes. I can speak for myself. That's my desire. That's my goal. I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't want to be lost. I really don't. I don't want to hang on to anything in this life if it's going to mean that I um, disgrace my God. Who's all knowing. Amen. He consists of everything good. The originator of everything good. I don't want to displease him. You know the heaven and hell thing is one thing. But just the fact that he's the best. I want to be like him. I want happiness and joy and peace. I want all of that. So, so I'm going to keep on fighting. Keep on striving. 
You know, sometimes the muck of our lives is like Yahweh put all that mess in your life to see if you can overcome. See if you can get past the stuff that you're in the midst of. It's, it's, it's not about placing blame and pointing fingers. It's about figuring out the solution and following through. Amen. Finding out how you're sabotaging your own self. Keep on listening to Yahweh's voice and keep on going forward. Amen. Yahweh says if you will humble yourself under his mighty hand, he'll exalt you. He says he's gonna. He says uh, heaven has come down to earth, New Jerusalem. He's 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 got he's got a whole city with the with the apostles' names on the on the gates and all of that, and and you got the twelve tribes of Israel minus Dan, right? And and I think one other because they did so horribly evil that their names were not even worthy to have anything to do with that wonderful place. So what does that tell you about us? I could do, if I'm not careful, if you could do, if you're not careful, so badly that even though Yahweh is fully capable of saving you, you mess it up for yourself. Praise Yahweh. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine having it this good? Sometimes the devil tells us it's not good here. And then you decide you want to almost give up. Amen. Amen. Am I losing y'all? No. The devil's a liar. Amen. He, he, he tells you this place is hard when it's not even hard. Amen. He calls good evil and evil good. He says it's easy out in the world. Nobody's telling you what to do. Or it's not, uh, you know, no judgment. Tired of being judged. Uh-huh. It says the house of judgment. It sure is. And you're looking at it in a negative way. Amen. I'm telling you right now, this is the best place. Yes, yes. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I'm surrounded. Oh, you got Apostle Washington has proven himself to be a good, great man of Yahweh. Yeah. You got Apostle Standifer here. And I'm just going to talk about the people that are here in Arlington. You got Apostle Standifer over here. Amen. You got Prophet Jenkins. Amen. 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 Prophet Washington. Yes, Evangelist Davis. Yes. You got Pastor Bibbs. Yes, you got Evangelist Childers. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Look at these people. Amen. Yeah. You got Pastor Deward. Look at them. Amen. We all got whooped. We're still here tonight. Look at that. We want to do this thing. We're sons, not bastards. We really mean it. We really do want to do good and serve Yahweh and be perfect. Amen. Amen. But those vices, those addictions, it could be alcohol, it could be drugs. But addiction just means devotion. So you could be hooked on TV. Hooked on sleep, staying up late and sleeping in. Hooked on your phone. All your focus is on your kids or on your grandkids. Addiction. Anything different from what the Spirit has told us to do, and you're doing different, it's addiction. I'm only happy when I spend money. I'm only happy when I eat what I want to eat. We got to get get control of this stuff, and clearly, clearly, if you get yourself right and you get yourself fully converted and pulled over to the way you need to be, you'll start singing about His mercy. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you feel like you're dying out, do something. Hallelujah. And I've, I've said this before while I was preaching. Because I'm a musician and a singer and a poet. When I hear songs... 
I almost instantly memorize them. And it's even worse whenever my kids were little kids because we would have to watch the same shows over and over again. So, of course, I know all about Elmo and Grouchland, okay? And there's a song that says, if you have a dream, do something. Ain't enough to dream. Do something. You can make it happen. It all depends on you. Because doing is what makes the dream come true. And there's some truth to that. So you, you got that dream? I got the dream of being saved. I got the dream of making it. Amen. Going all the way. Amen. Laying aside every weight Amen. and the sin which does so easily beset me. Amen. Me and Risa, we were full of lust. And so we just really wanted to get married. Really, really bad. Amen. Risa was willing to overlook all of my flaws and faults. And I the same. And we got married, and we realized we were completely different. Amen. Didn't have hardly anything in common and disagreed about almost everything. I wanted to do this, she wanted to do that. Amen. So, I haven't given up hope. She hasn't given up hope. Amen. We're not going to give up. We're working it out. Scenario by scenario. Situation by situation. And it's all orchestrated by Yahweh. Every single thing we go through is designed to take us to the next moment. The next opportunity. If we do it right, we're ready for the next opportunity. If we do it wrong, we're surely going to fail on the next one too until we get right. Amen. Amen. But Yahweh, I, I believe in him that much. When, I say, when, I, when we say he knows the end from the beginning, I believe that. I believe he knows exactly how to fix. I mean, you know, Rubik's Cube. It doesn't make sense. But it does if you created it. You're the one who knows right, left, twist, turn, left, right, right, left. You know you got to turn it right, but you really want it to go left in a couple of moves. <laughs> Yahweh knows how to do your life like a Rubik's Cube. Amen. Amen. And at the end of our life, if we did it right, it's going to be solid colors on every side. Amen. I watch videos on YouTube trying to figure out how to do Rubik's Cube because I saw those people underwater, blindfolded, doing 15 Rubik's Cubes underwater. They memorized the moves. All they had to do was stare at it once and they knew all the moves to get that thing all the way to completion. I couldn't get one. I studied, I studied, I studied. I watched videos looking for tips and tricks. Not one of them. I couldn't do it. I've never done it. I have never done a Rubik's Cube. So I, I totally respect Yahweh for him being all-knowing. And that nothing's too hard for him. I can't even study a Rubik's Cube and do it. That's messed up. That's how inadequate I am. For me to think that I can make all the choices in my life and not listen to what's coming forth from the church and get my life right, Amen. and I can't even do that, Amen. can't even figure out a Rubik's Cube. Amen. I know I need Yahweh's help. Oh, yes. I need him to say, turn it left, turn this up, turn this over. You know, don't say anything here. Amen. Say no to your daughter here, but don't be mean. You know, or now it's time to be firm. Now it's time to be soft. Amen. I need him to tell me. Yeah. I need him to tell me. Hallelujah. And if I have to get corrected some along the way, thank you, Yahweh. Amen. I'm willing to receive it. Amen. And Yahweh says, you wouldn't have to get as corrected if you would just do better. Then I have to receive that too. It's one thing getting corrected, but then to get, get corrected about being corrected? 
That's hard too. Perhaps even harder. Amen? Amen. Amen. But we're still alive today. We have an opportunity to get on back out there, raise funds. Amen? Amen. We got an opportunity to get on out there and have a good testimony. You know, a, a week or two ago, we moved, a couple of weeks ago, maybe last month since we went to Mexico, we went and helped Mother Holmes get moved. She up and got to get moved again. And I'm going out of town this weekend for baby Trace's birthday. I won't be there this time. My flesh is like, hoorah! This is hot. And it was hot the day we did it. That was like the first day of the superheat. But my my the other rest the rest of me feels horrible about not being here to help. Amen. You know? And that's come through being in church. I don't think I'd feel this way if it wasn't for me being in church all these years. Like, you know, being trained. Being trained by the Spirit. All right, saints. Let's go wash these trucks. Okay, saints. Let, I'll see y'all at, the, uh, at the, the doing the yard work. All right, we're doing it again. All right, saints. Show up. Let's do a broadcast. Oh, that one didn't work. Come back tomorrow. Okay, saints. We're moving, the, moving these people. Oh, y'all moved them wrong. Why y'all breaking all their stuff? Do it different. Suffering, sacrificing, standing up, stepping up, being there, and getting corrected when you do it wrong. And still continuing to come back to help more and more and more has been quite a shaping experience. So that good for nothing deadbeat that you would have been Right, Paul? <laughs> if, you, if you had not been part of this thing, all you kids, y'all just don't know. If y'all had not been born and raised in here, your life would be a lot harder. Yeah. I'm telling you, you don't know, but you're just going to have to take our word for it right now. Some of us have done some bad stuff in front of our kids, but the vast majority of the children in here are innocent and they haven't experienced a whole lot of horrible things like husbands and wives beating each other up in front, in front of them. Letting evil people coming in out the door as they please and abuse the children. Parents that aren't watchful that just let any old thing happen all the time. That's the kind of houses that we grew up in. Stuff happened because we were not under Yahweh's protection. Amen. Well, what does it say? I will sing of mercy uh -huh. and judgment. And judgment. Unto you. Mercy and judgment. Amen. Amen. Mercy and judgment. Amen. Don't let the devil get you bent out of shape because there's some judgment yeah. with this mercy. Yeah. Because it doesn't do any good to be tolerant of everything and never help you come out of the mess you're in in your life. Yeah. The, the, the spirit has to come at you hard sometimes. With some tough love. Get, a, get you out of the, the messed up life that you're living. The rut you'll never get out of if it wasn't for the spirit of Yahweh. Amen. 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 Now see, I've, seen, I've been in the church long enough to know that each and every single one of us has still got something in us. Amen. Amen. And if, it, if you've been in the church for a long time and it's still in you, it, it's, it's one of them uh, deep things. Amen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's one of those deep, deep, deep things. It's like the thing that you cherish the most that you don't even know that you're doing that's contrary to what Yahweh wants. But don't, can't you see the reward of, of uprooting that out of your life? Amen. I mean, it's good. You've already changed so much by changing these small Sometimes like superficial things. Amen. Cover your mouth if you're going to yawn that big. Now where's it going for? Don't be yawning like that. Amen. These superficial small things in your life that you, you have changed, 
Believe me, there's some other things Amen. that you're going to have to do some praying Amen. and some fasting Amen. to get out of you. Amen. 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 You, can, you can hunker down and try to pray and fast a lot and the Spirit will still say, you're praying and fasting wrong. Because the Spirit loves you so much, it's like one of those hardcore trainers. You know those ones? You pay them money, and they're mean to you. But they get the results. Those are the ones that really do pump you up. Get you ripped. Well, I want to be ripped as I can be in the Spirit. I want to be I want to be a, a, a beast. I, I'm talking about I want to be an ultimate warrior for Yahweh. I don't I don't want to leave anything to chance. Well, he would have made it if you would have tried a little harder. No. Made it to Waterburger or made it to Krispy Kremes before it closed. Maybe. But not heaven. Not salvation. I'm the kind of person that used to not care less about anything. Amen. Whenever I came in here and I, and, and I was convinced by the word that there really is a God of heaven and a hell. And it really mattered what I did. Amen. Because his blood was in a body that actually showed us how to be. And the perfect example that he led was the truest gift. Amen. The only reason why he was a worthy sacrifice was because of his perfect example. His holiness and His perfection Amen. is where the real magic and it, you know what I mean by that. Was that, it was really, that was the stuff. His holy and His perfect life. So Apostle Washington's trying to show us if you're not holy and you're not perfect in here, you're nothing. You're worthless. It's a waste for you to be here. Yeah, if you can't overcome the, the, the handful of sins that Yahweh is expecting you to overcome in your life. Amen. It's not like he's making you go through everything. He's making you go through what you got to go through. Amen. If you add your whole life up, it's going to look like a lot. But really, we're just living day to day here. Amen. I'm not living tomorrow now. Amen. We're not living out our tomorrows right now. Amen. We're just live. We're stuck in the now, y'all. This body is stuck in the now, and this is all we got to do. One choice at a time. Amen. Do right. Amen. Do Okay, okay. what am I doing? What's going on right here? Do that. Well, I'm going to do right right now. Amen. I'm not going to worry about anything else. Amen. I'm not going to let my mind push into the future or dwelling on the past. Stop me from doing right right now. Amen? Amen. 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 Well, what does it say? I will sing of mercy and judgment unto you. See, that's how good it is. That you want to sing about it. Amen. Don't rest until you want to sing about this thing. Amen. Amen. Don't rest until you're not shy about doing it either. Amen. Amen. You're so proud about this way. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 One thing I learned from the yes. communion, and also from what Apostle Washington said about do you ever go back and listen to yourself? Yes. Number one, to see if you're being led astray by Satan and you're not teaching the things that you should be teaching. But also, go back and look at yourself so you can perfect yourself. You can hone your skill and your ability to, 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 to encourage by being righteous and by sticking with the apostolic script that we've been given. Amen. I know I can do better. I know every one of the bishops can do better. Amen? Amen. I'm just going to focus on me. But the communion would be better if we did communion more at our houses. The first Corinthian scripture could have been touched on later. Which is how Apostle Washington usually does it. Where he... He touches on the first Corinthians part saying, you know, some have eaten it unworthily and they are sick and dead even. But he usually doesn't use that as the scripture. That's what he may point that out afterwards when we start preaching. Amen. 
So we've learned. Yes. Amen? Amen. And, and me and Apostle Standifer and Prophet uh, Jenkins, we're going to step up a whole lot more and make sure stuff Amen. doesn't get like that Amen. anymore. Amen. Amen. Apostle Washington wants us to go to Mexico without him. It's not rocket science to figure out why. It's because he wants us to learn how to do things without having our hand held. Because it's not in us as much as it is in him to hold a service. I got in trouble because I went and helped that drunk person get to a taco stand so we could get back to the fellowship. Because in my brain, I, I had fellowship, meaning I didn't have to be there every second. But Apostle Washington has re he's, he's, he's defined it for us. He, he's done an example. It's been on Marco Polo. To where what he is saying is fellowship is led by the bishops. Because I didn't pick that up as I should have. I went with Apostle Moses to help this drunk person get, get off of Apostle Washington's property. But see, not a good enough excuse. Every single one of us has an excuse. Every time the word corrects us, we have what we call an excuse. Every single time I guarantee you have an excuse. But Yahweh says, if you lean to your excuse, you'll stay that way. But if I hold you to what I expect you to have caught on to, you'll come up to what I'm telling you to do. Do what now? And yeah, we get shaped in the moment because um, Yeshua Messiah he said, how long am I going to have to be with you? That would probably be one of the scriptures that Sister Shanera would read and say, that's mean. Because I'm right there with you. Whenever I read, let the dead bury their dead, I thought, like, that's rude. Because, and I'll bring myself down. I'm not going to let Shanera be alone in that. According to the flesh, we all think that's rude. Talk about my dead, dead family member. <laughs> but Yahweh is saying, look, all these apostles have forsaken everything to follow me because I'm the Messiah that was prophesied that would come. I'm very, very, very important. And yeah, your loved one. You know, that is your loved one. You should love them. You should care about them. You should have natural affection for them. But you need to wake up and realize what's more important is going on right now. Because the Spirit, you know, you all know good and well, we've been allowed to go to funerals. But if something was super important happening at the same time, the Spirit needs you. You've got to learn how to say, I just can't make it this time. And just deal with the haters. Deal with the people who are going to be mad at you because you didn't do what they wanted. But you did what your Father in Heaven wanted you to do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's not easy sometimes. But, but you know what? I'm a firm believer that the more you keep on serving Yahweh, that you, that's, which was hard, starts to get a little easier. Amen. And you don't really have the full mastery of yourself or victory until it doesn't bother you to do what Yahweh wants. If you're doing what Yahweh wants and it bothers you, it means you're in the shaping process. Amen. You know, if you're still hurting, you're not healed. You understand that? So our faith, some people think we're crazy because it's still hurting and you say I'm healed. And they're like, no, you're not. Well, we're saying this by faith when we're talking about healing. But according to the natural, in the real world we live in, if your wound still hurts, it's not fully healed. That's how you know it's not fully healed. When it stops itching and stops hurting and it's not sore anymore, then you know you're made whole. You're healed. 
So when you do Yahweh's will and it doesn't bother you to do it, you've been made perfect. Amen. 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 Because Yahweh restores our love and our natural affection. So it's okay if you feel feelings while you're doing what Yahweh wants. Like you're looking around and you care about the whole world. Yeshua wept. Having feelings is not the problem. It's having the wrong feelings that's the problem. Once you're made whole, you're able to have affection and love and sincerity and care and feelings. But you're still going to do the right thing. And your feelings aren't trying to convince you to stop doing the right thing. That's how you know you're whole. You're healed. Your spirit has been made whole. Amen. So don't strive, don't stop striving until you actually enjoy doing Yahweh's will. Amen. You gotta look at it like that, or else you'll start justifying. So I didn't like doing this, but I did the will of the Lord. I'm whole, y'all. No. You 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 did it, and you're probably not gonna want to do it the next time either. So you can't stop doing the right thing until your your spirit is changed. I learned that from Apostle Washington. Because we used to always walk around talking about how we didn't feel like doing the right thing. And we testified about it all the time. It's like, shut that up. How long are you going to have that testimony? How long are you going to come in here and talk about how you don't love your husband and you don't really want to get back with him? How long are you going to come in here and say, I don't really feel like doing the right thing. I really want to put my shorts back on. I mean, that tells me you still want to be a lustful person. And I get it. The flesh can't be subject. We understand it. But Yahweh builds up your spirit, man, so strong to where it overcomes your flesh. Amen. Amen. Right? Amen. Amen. You will always have some kind of hard trials like Yeshua Messiah in the garden. Because he's always going to be shaping us till till the end. Amen. 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 And to me, when I look at it, that is the only recipe for perfection. It's the only recipe for improvement, saints. If you look at it that way. Never beat yourself up when you don't feel like doing the right thing. Because if you beat yourself up so hard, you won't do the right thing. Just say, this is my flesh. Yahweh has put a difference between the flesh and the spirit. I'm not listening to you flesh. And Yahweh says, because you didn't obey your flesh, you're in good standing with me. Now keep on serving me and I'll, I'll make you perfect. I'll make you whole. Amen. Amen. On that day of judgment, you won't have to worry about being tempted or tried anymore. You won't have to worry about any more bad feelings coming your way. Because you never know when you're going to have a hard trial. Y'all understand? I'm not telling you you're wrong for not wanting to do right. I'm just telling you that if you keep on doing right, those not wanting feelings, you'll get stronger. That's what I'm saying. What does it say? I will sing of mercy and judgment unto mm-hmm. you, O mm-hmm. Yahweh. Yes. I sing. Yes. I will behave myself wisely in a perfect I way. I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. That's what I've been striving for since I've come in here. Amen. Now, I would love to say, never made a mistake. That was always my goal. Amen. Never fail. <laughs> Never make a mistake. Amen. Whenever me and Risa got married, I'm like, I'm going to show all of y'all how it's done. Amen. Me and Risa going to blow y'all's battleships <laughs> out of the marriage waters. You just wait and see. Because the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. You know, I was really, I really wanted to never make a mistake, never do anything wrong. But Yahweh brought me down, showed me things about myself I was in denial about, helped me, wouldn't let up on me. And to this day, he's humbling me. 
He's still showing me what I can do to be a better husband. Amen. 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 I'm, I'm, not, I'm not pressuring people to speak well of me. Amen. Because it's got to be genuine. Yes. And it can't be forced. Right. You can do a thousand wonderful things and somebody might not ever say a word about the good things that you're doing. Amen. If you pitch a fit because you're not getting praised, Yahweh um, cancels out all your good. It's like, all that good you did, you were just doing it for some kind of image praise. So I'm willing to do good, 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 do good. And if my name is not mentioned, it's because Yahweh is trying to perfect me in the other areas. He's either he's either holding back. The recognition of what you do so that you can strive harder to be completely perfect. Amen. You know, and, and, and whether, whether you deserve it or not, uh, you better just hold your peace and do it for Yahweh. Amen. 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 I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Amen. We got to do right because it's right to do. Amen. Amen. If, you're doing, if you're doing 90% good, 10% bad Yahweh is going to withhold things back from you Amen. so that you can perfect that 10% of you Amen. because he don't want to get, give you a false sense of perfection yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Amen sometimes he'll let you uh, let you get lied on let you get all of that false accused Amen. why why would Yahweh let those things happen to you? He let it happen to Yeshua. Yeah. He, he, let, he let it happen to a whole bunch of people in the Bible. Amen. People getting false accused. Amen. Lied on. Mistreated. Amen. All the time. Why? It's not always because you've done something bad or something wrong. Amen. Because those kind of things make you stronger. Amen. Yahweh Amen. knows he needs you stronger. Amen. For the work. It's going to get the, the, the tiniest thing out of you that must get out. That's the kind of stuff that will get it out of you. Because those are the kind of things that make you just want to throw everything on the ground and say, forget this. I don't want to do this anymore. And Yahweh says, if you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. So you're like, I was about to throw it on the ground. My foot had well nigh slipped. But then Yahweh helped you out. Amen. Helped you to stay in here. Amen. Don't you know that you're, that is the hour that Yahweh is strengthening you the most? When you, were, when you wanted to give up, almost gave up, but didn't give up? Don't you know you, you're stronger than you realize? Because Yahweh allowed you to get to that point. Because He knows there's only one way for you to get stronger. It's for you to see yourself as you really are. Amen. And when you're in that kind of a situation and you see your weakness, I'm this weak that I almost gave up. Amen. Now I really, and then you, you, you strengthen, you strengthen yourself, you confirm your feeble knees, you gird up the loins of your mind. Amen. And you see people falling by the wayside, people you thought you never would see fall by the wayside. Amen. And the devil attacked all of us real hard on this trip. There were lots of testimonies about people being tried. Strong people. But you're not gone. Don't give up. And you didn't give up. And you're stronger now. You came, you saw Pakula. We conquered. But... When, when I go back to Pakula, Apostle Washington's not there. It's going to be up to me to say, let's have service. Amen. It's going to be up to me to say, let's have a fellowship. Amen. It's going to be up to me to say, let's pray. Amen. It's going to be up to me to get out my guitar and sing a song yes. and, and dance. And, and it's going to be up to me to read my Bible. Amen. 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 So it's important for us. Each and every single one of us, from the pulpit on down, 
that we stay this course. Amen. Stay strong. Amen. You got another year to prepare for this trip that's going to be coming up. It's going to be a whole another year. But Apostle Washington said, well, you can go earlier than that. Amen. 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 So if you're like me, you kind of like to have it all kind of like we it's good if we get together and talk about it and kind of figure out who could go when and who's going to go with who and all that kind of stuff. Because um, we're going to have to coordinate with Apostle Washington to see if the Spirit says, yeah, that's a good thing to do. Then we're going to need to get with Mother Kathy and Mother Renee because they're probably going to help us with our tickets and all that kind of stuff again. I don't know how it's going to work, but I know ain't nothing going to happen if we don't put our mind to it and prepare for it. Amen? Amen. All right. I thank Yahweh for the words that he gave me. Let's do everything that we're supposed to do and be all that Yahweh is calling for us to be. Amen? Amen. Yeah. At this time, let's all rise and receive the next preacher. <clears throat> let's receive Prophet Washington by saying, Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh, Praise Yahweh saints. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Amen. We all can be seated. So I want to thank Yahweh for his ball for waking me up this morning. Amen. Bless me to be here in this humble house. Praise. Giving double honor to the men of God. Starting with Apostle Washington, my father. Thank Yahweh for Apostle standing for his well. And Apostle Hurley, who just brought forth the message that was truly wonderful on time. Amen. Thank Yahweh for Apostle uh, Flores out there in Lubbock. And Amen. all the other bishops that I'm blessed to labor among in these last and evil days. Amen. Hallelujah. But you know... Truly, the, the words of Yahweh is good. I'm sorry, I'm sitting here keeping track of Shanira. She's, uh, keep her in prayer. She's in Houston making a, a late delivery. Well, Lord, they're supposed to have been dropped tomorrow, but with 4th of July coming up, and it's going to be closed, so they asked if we can go ahead and make that delivery tonight. So. But nonetheless, you know, uh, to thank Yahweh for it. She was ready to get back to work. Amen. 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 But uh, I truly thank Yahweh for the words that came forth. Uh, this night, I truly thank Yahweh for the trip to Mexico. Amen. It seemed like it's been a while since I've been here. As soon as I got back, work was chaotic. Amen. Thank Yahweh for Prophet Jenkins. Amen. Amen. And uh, 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 thank Yahweh for Brother Lee as well as Ella Andre. Those two weren't able to make the trip, and uh, there was a particular account that they kind of pleaded with us to probably you know keep going. But I truly thank Yahweh for Prophet Jenkins. He stepped in and became my voice. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, saw fit that things continue on while in my absence. Yeah. So we thank Yahweh for it. Yeah. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. You know, but I couldn't let the business stop me from making the trip. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And learned that that I can't be, you know, according to the scripture, you can't serve both God and man. Amen. And even though it's a business and a business, you know, it takes a lot of your time. You know, it's, it's exhausting. That's why they have people set up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As of right now, I'm the only one, if you will, that's in the office. Yeah. And so I'm dispatching. Amen. I'm taking care of paperwork. This, that, and the other. Hallelujah. Dealing with issues that the drivers may have. Hallelujah. And dealing with DOT, this, that, and the other. And at times, it it, 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 it it takes a lot of my energy. And I see where my father was coming from when he had all my barbecue. Yeah. He began to thank Yahweh for certain people, such as my wife and Sister uh, Justine, and you know uh, those that really took a lot of the load off of him. Because he thank y'all for everybody else also that was there. Yeah. Amen. But at the same time, you know, having a business, I can't allow the business, amen, to uh, replace my love for the Most High. Yeah. And you know, truly thank y'all for the words that came forth from my father Tuesday. Yeah. Amen. Amen. When the words went forth, I believe that everyone began to examine themselves. Yeah. Hallelujah. And, and that's exactly what we have to do because Yahweh is expecting great things of us. Amen. Apostle Paul once said that I'm persuaded better things of you. Yes. You know, these things that accompany salvation. Amen. You know, so, you know, we as bishops, yeah, we definitely have to step up and get more involved. Hallelujah. It's more to it than our ministry, than, than encouraging. Hallelujah. Yes. Counseling. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's why my father, he often say that I wouldn't ask you to do anything that I haven't done first. 
slow down and you recall his labor mm. over this year, Hallelujah. how he, he, he begun this thing, how uh, a week turned into two weeks, yeah. two weeks turned into three, Amen. turned into a month, and a month and a half. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, you know, I'm not surprised that the Spirit is pressing. Because you read this in the scripture Hallelujah yeah. It's real easy for every single one of us to get complacent and Be Amen. comfortable here in the states Amen. The comfort of our own home Hallelujah That's why one reason the fellowship lack We get so comfortable being in our house Amen. Don't want to come out Hallelujah And, and you, just, you, you just In your head you, you just picture who will be there And that, that should be enough But your presence has an impact on everybody Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why, you know, when people testify, they often speak about Apostle Stanford, how he's involved in things, but the Spirit is still pushing us higher and higher. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And uh, I truly, truly thank Yahweh for this trip yes. that I was blessed to make. Amen. Unfortunately, everybody wasn't able to make the trip. Hey, hallelujah. And if it's Yahweh's will, opportunity will present itself. Amen. Amen. For us all to make the trip. And as Apostle uh, Hurley just mentioned, you have to really take this thing serious. Amen. How do you really have to take this thing serious? I was talking to my father, and he, he was saying that, yeah, some didn't take it serious. Those that made the trip and those that didn't make the trip. Right. Of course, certain things do happen. Yes. But he spoke, he said, but yet we had a whole year. Yeah. You know, sometimes we, we want to put things in motion in the last mi- a moment. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One taking it serious about putting your money up had to counsel with uh, 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 Elder Andre, hallelujah, because he really wanted to make the trip. And after I got through speaking to him, and Apostle Hurley got through speaking to him, he come to realize that he didn't take this thing serious enough to put his money up, hallelujah, to really make this trip. But, like I said, if Yahweh sees fit, amen, for us to make this trip, his opportunity to offer all of us to prove our love for this ministry, because remember that it, it's, he called us in this heavenly calling, right. yeah. Amen. And, and it's more to it than just us sitting here in the house of Yahweh, yeah. Amen. That he said that going to the word and preach the gospel unto every creature. So we all have a duty to do, Amen, Amen. Yeah. And uh, so when the word went forward, you know, I just was examining myself, and I had an opportunity to talk to my father today before he got on the road, Amen. And he shared some things with me, and it it pricked me to my heart, Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. And uh, um, because I truly thank Yahweh for, for my father. Amen. Words can't express it enough. Amen. I didn't eat in that, you know, you, you that was here, you, you saw me break down. Yeah. Hallelujah. And cried out because I found myself to be unworthy. Right. Even when the word was going forth, I began to examine myself. Yeah. Amen. And he said some well things about me. But I, I'm, not un, I'm not worthy to hear such things. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I began to talk to him and commune with him. Amen. And he said something that, 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 that touched my heart. Hallelujah. And, and because I just know the type of mind that I once had before. Amen. The type of uh, uh, lack of love that I had for the ministry. Amen. Even love towards my own father. Amen. You know, when you're, when you're full of... The, the worldly lust. Um, amen. That's why you spoke about your son. Dealing with his wife and all that lust caused him to think the way that way. Amen. The world has a way to cause you to want to view things differently. Amen. Not see things with spiritual eyes. Amen. But he said, son, when I look at you, I'm trying my best to keep my composure. Amen. He said that I remind him so much of himself. He was saying that as far as having love for the ministry, yes. you know, I, I think about the business, and I just spoke about it that, you know, I'm not trying to be rich. Right. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Despite what anyone may think, despite how my workers may think, I know at times right. Satan come play with you, right. make you feel like you might be underpaid, and all this, I did this and did that. But I want you to know that he that stands before you love the most high God. Yeah. And I understand the scripture that, is, that, that he should not defraud your brother. Right. Amen. Yeah. But what I see this thing that, at the, and I was talking to my father, I said, it's amazing how Yahweh operates. Amen. Dealing with the business, how all things line up for what he has in store. Amen. When spirit driven as far as what it is now. Amen. 
that as far as what it is now, because I've been doing this for about maybe four years, about four years, but on the caliber as far as what it is now, hallelujah, I truly see that how Yahweh is involved, how he orchestrated this thing. Amen. And, 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 and for how Spirit Driven was, uh, came together right before the work of the ministry started. Seeing that how the man of God, in order for him to do such great of a labor here, hmm, it'd be impossible for him to do this if he's out there on the job. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want my Spirit Driven workers to see that in that manner. Hallelujah. That it's not about the dollar. Hallelujah. That it's all about the work of the ministry. Amen. It's not about how long that you're working out there. What time I may call you. Huh? It's all about the work of the ministry. Amen. Amen. Because what you do, it enables this. We all have a part to do. That's what the Spirit wants us to understand. We all have a part to do here and over there. Amen. Amen. So my father, he's trying to get us to see that. But he was saying, son, when I see the sacrifices. Amen. Amen. You don't have to do that. Amen. But the Lord, I said, the Lord laid it upon my heart. Amen. Amen. And, and I truly want to see this thing uh, uh, blossom to what, what, what I know it can be. Amen. Because we're not the only ones that have souls. Amen. We're not the only ones that hunger and thirst after righteousness. Amen. And so we got to come out that comfort zone. Amen. I mean, we got to come out this shell of ours that makes us so reserved. Amen. Huh? To want to just leave it on one man. He set the perfect example. He showed us how to how our love should be perfected in this ministry. Huh? When he when he when he spoke about the consolation, hallelujah, this love, the joy that we should have in Yeshua the Messiah. All that he do, he do it for a reason. So he he brought up the card again. Amen. Hallelujah. And I said, Father, I'm I'm learning from you because it said, Mark the perfect man. Hallelujah. Mark that perfect man. Amen. And that's what he's trying to get every single one of us to be like him, not to seek our own. And so I cry because I, I, I realize uh, how ugly I once was. Amen. You know, we can sit here in the house of Yahweh and be ugly. Amen. Amen. Not wanting to be what the spirit wants you to be. Amen. So I asked Yahweh, I said, Yahweh, please, you know, Keep this heart of mine in the right place. Because I truly have a desire, amen, to, 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 to be like these men that he spoke about Tuesday. Amen. amen. And so he said, son, you're in the right direction. Hallelujah. And it's, it's Satan, he always want to oppose that, which is good. Amen. amen. And it, it seemed like the, uh, how, how things uh, seem to mess up at times. But he was saying, son, it's death to shape you. Learn from him. He said, Yeshua learned obedience through the things that he suffered, the things that he went through. Amen. Many of us, we open up our mouth, we quote scriptures, hallelujah, we, hallelujah. we say things. He said, but we don't really listen, amen. That's, right. That's why he spoke, he said, take heed how you listen, yeah. Yeah. amen, huh? Sometimes uh, we, we just be saying amen on autopilot, yeah. huh? Because we hear and not really receiving, not really hearing what's been spoken unto you. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's your way. That's you, yes. He says, so take heed how you listen. Because that's how important salvation is. Amen. In order to make change, you have to hear what's been preached unto you. You have to understand what's been shared unto you. Other than that, hallelujah, you just go about your whole life in here. Amen. Huh? Being a pretender. Hallelujah. You have to take heed how you listen to what he's saying. About the forsaken that symbol. You have to, yeah, you have to take heed to yourself. Mm -hmm. Take heed how you listen. Amen. But nonetheless, hallelujah, Amen. the work was still good in Mexico. Amen. Hallelujah. And he spoke and he said that, that he hasn't been uh, uh, proud of the church like that in a long time. Yes. Though he's seen some things. Amen. But yet at the same time, he was, he was very proud. Overall, hallelujah. hallelujah. You know, so when I was there, you know, I, 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 I it definitely refreshed my spirit. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh, a humbling experience. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. It showed me how I need to perfect my love even more so. Mm -hmm. Able to sit at the table with Minister uh, I mean, Ella Maximo. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Mm -hmm. They, they want to stop feeding me tamales over there. 
I kept eating. I, I, I told Desi because he said uh, he had only about two of them that first night. And I said, I had 10. How'd you get 10? I did what the Spirit said do, fellowship mingle. Mm-hmm. So I got up and I went over there and sat by them. They kept feeding me. That's how I got 10. I did what the Spirit told me to do. And I got blessed with 10 tamales. <laughs> Amen. But hallelujah. Being there, but I see where my, where, how my father, uh, where, where his, where, why he has so much love to want to be there. Yeah. Uh, hallelujah, because you see people, amen, huh, that's, that's coming from a state that you and I was once in. Amen. Amen. And that should be enough to motivate you, hallelujah, amen, amen to motivate any one of us amen. to see this thing through. Yeah. It's sad that he said, yeah, some, some, hallelujah, your prayer is that, that this thing cease. Amen. Amen. Because this whole thing brings a discomfort discomfort uh-huh. to you. Yeah, 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 it brings a discomfort to you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Satan played with me about the business was trying to make this trip. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Only a year established like this. Amen. Yeah. I'm trying to build a reputation. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Those that work for me, they know that I, uh, that I try to pride myself to, to take every load that we can. Amen. Because I, uh, like I said, I have a love for the ministry. But at the same time, Satan tried me. Amen. Yeah. And so when we made it, I told him, I said, we'll be making a trip to Mexico. Hallelujah. Missionary work. Work for the ministry. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And they said, okay, well, you know, all right, Mr. Washington. Uh, we appreciate what you're able to do for us, such as the prophet Jenkins then. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So but when we got back, amen, we are tired. We were tired. And they called and said, well, y'all be operating because we, we really need you. So we operated and I went on up there, amen, and, and to go pick up some checks and turn in some paperwork. And they t- sat me down. They said, Mr. Washington, hallelujah. Right. They said, we didn't realize how we took you for granted. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We didn't realize how much you and your team is a great asset yeah. to this thing because of the 200% how we work. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Amen. Satan want to play that if you're gone, they'll give the account to somebody else. Yeah. Amen. Right? Of course, the work had to be done. So, and I asked, and other people did do some things here and there. And they were terrible. <laughs> they were horrible. They said, "Lord, please, we know you're doing the work over there, but please, do you have to make another trip?" I said, "Yeah, we're gonna make another one. So, take advantage of us while we can. If y'all ain't see fit, Amen. We're gonna be making another trip. So, take advantage of us while we can." But I'm just trying to show you that how Satan he plays with us all. Um, but you can't allow what he presents to you, yeah. amen, uh, to, to, to cause your love to be misplaced. So, you know, so I, I think about uh, Mexico, amen. And, uh, of course, my father said that Satan, he kicked up against this thing. In the beginning, he said that the Spirit showed him that Satan is going to try his very best, hallelujah, to see that this thing doesn't turn out the way that, we, that how we, the Spirit wants it to, to turn out. Amen. Uh, and Satan manifests himself. He was sharing with me, son. He said, uh, 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 you know, uh, as far as dealing with Sister Silas, and then he spoke to us all about what happened with Apostle Flores. And, yeah. Amen. He began to look around and see how this was going to turn out, and there was his sister Shanira. Yeah. Amen. And yeah. Hallelujah. But when I when I look at it, I know that that there's there's hope out there. Okay. Yeah. Amen. And that's where the Spirit wants us to be. I think about. How uh, 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 it was a wall out there that needed to come come down, Amen. I think about Jericho, Amen, and and, and, and Satan had a wall out there, Amen. Uh, he didn't want us to be out there, huh? So he, he didn't want us to be out there, uh, but the Spirit wanted us to be out there. I believe uh, 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 said that that Jericho, Amen, uh, straightly shut up against Israel. Uh, where none was able to go in or out He said, but Yahweh spoken to Joshua And said that I have given Jericho into thy hands amen. You know, yeah. Mexico, yeah, it's us Hallelujah yeah. Yahweh gave us Mexico, amen yeah. Despite of what Satan was trying to do with the walls up there yeah. Hallelujah yeah. Huh? At one time Apostle Washington said That for a moment that it was looking kind of dark yeah. Yeah. Amen huh? It seemed like everything was falling apart yeah. And I did talk to him, amen, amen. Um, But we, 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 we did exactly What Jericho did I mean, uh, the children of Israel did. Yeah. We have to take heed to the instructions, amen, for the walls to come down. So the Spirit was preparing us in order to knock down them walls out there. Because believe it or not, you and I, yeah, huh? you and I, amen. Uh, even though some of us got out, went out there with maybe some of the wrong spirits. You heard about the jealousy. Hallelujah. Uh, you heard about how some sisters made us, uh, was talking uh, 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 evil about another sister. 
Hallelujah. Not true, someone true love. Amen. Uh, but yet, our presence there, it, 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 held, a, it held a bunch of volume. Uh, they, they was able to bear witness to bear the things that Apostle Washington was sharing with them. Yeah, that's when the, the, that's why the baptism took place. Hallelujah. They saw something within us. Now, but something had to take place. Instruction was given to those of uh, children of Israel. Uh -huh. The priests had to do something. I mean, the bishops, we had to do something. Uh, and it said that the men of value, the value, those warriors there, uh, those soldiers, they had to do something. Amen. And they, they all had to be on one accord. The Spirit was preparing every single one of us to be on one accord when we make this trip out to Mexico. Yes, Amen. Huh? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And so the walls can come down. Hallelujah. We got out there. Amen. Huh? Amen. And they saw us. Said, we're not alone in this. Amen. Amen. Huh? These are people of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. These are people that, 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 that bear witness to the very things that Apostle Washington has been sharing with us. Oh, you gave hope to the people of Mexico. You, you see why we got to go back? We gave hope to the people of Mexico. Huh? That's why Apostle Washington was going to say there were, 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 were travelers on this thing here. Okay, we can't get comfortable in here. Mm, so I, I began to talk to my father and said, Dad, I said, I would love to get the business set up where I could bring somebody on, amen, hallelujah, so I can free myself up, yeah. get myself over to reading, get myself over to meditating, yes. be freed up to be able to travel, if it, how the spirit sees fit. Yes. He said, son, all the time, amen. He said, remember, Yeshua learned obedience with the things that he suffered. Yes. Hallelujah, in order for Yahweh to use you to your full potential. Yes. Amen, hallelujah. Yes. Honey, you got to learn some things. That's how you're going to help others. You have to learn some things. Who learned something about themselves on this trip? Hmm? Who learned something about themselves on this trip? Hmm? Mother Kathy, she didn't make the trip. Hallelujah. Uh, but she learned even more patience dealing with the saints. <laughs> uh, Prophet Jenkins and Lord learned more patience about dealing with the saints. Uh, to show love one another when they keep calling that phone. Hallelujah. Sometimes the words may be a little bit too forward. Uh, but they come from turning about their money. Hallelujah. They're concerned about getting home and, 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 and not thinking about the body. Hallelujah. And we all in it together. Amen. It's all a learning experience. Hallelujah. It's all a learning experience. Amen. Huh? So these are the children of Israel. They walked around. Hallelujah. They was all on one accord and they sat in the walls of Jericho. They came down. Huh? But Yahweh, hallelujah, he spoke to Joshua. And he was preparing the people that after this happened, hallelujah, amen, uh, that I want you to take note because we got to come back here. Here we are. Mm. Some of us, we went out there all in the spirit. Hallelujah. Jealousy in check for some. Amen. The uh, spirit says, stay away from your be brothers. Be with the brothers. Sister, be with the sister. Huh? And say, as the scripture said, I have no wife. I have no husband. Hallelujah. Amen. When we get back here in the States, you hear about the arguing, the bickering. Hallelujah. The ugliness between husband and wife. Amen. Hallelujah. All that that they suppress, they get here and let it all out. Amen. So, yeah, it's all in vain. So here the children of uh, Israel, uh, they got the victory. Uh, we got the victory because Satan was upset. That's why when we try to get back to the airport, he said, I tried over here. Amen. I tried for a year over there. Amen. Let, let, let me get, I see a little a loophole. I'm traveling back. Let me get him right here. Uh, let us, so I can, we all can get mad at Pastor Dude. Say it's his fault. Amen. Uh, so we can start cursing instead of blessing. Uh, because when we left, all we all said, <laughs> Amen. 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 Peace, peace, saints, super cool. Yeah, we'll say. We love you. Yeah. Damn, this is this place here in my field, Jerusalem. <laughs> Hallelujah! I had so much peace. Yeah. As soon as you come out the mountains, back to so true civilization, <laughs> if you will. So back now, yeah. All the, uh, now the spirit's coming back. Yeah. Uh, but he was preparing them. Amen. Yeah. Right. Uh, he was preparing them. Yes. I said he was preparing them. Hallelujah. Yes. That after this, that what would take place. Right. Hallelujah. hallelujah. He said, yeah, ye at any wise, hallelujah, huh, that you keep yourself from those accursed things. 
Amen. 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 He said, at least you find yourself, at least you, uh, you end up uh, finding yourself cursed. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. 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 He said that you end up uh, 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 bringing a curse into the camp. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Right. Huh? And trouble Israel. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Right. We don't want, some of us, as soon as we got back into the States, Amen. Right. we began to take on that curse thing. Right. Yeah. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Huh? Amen. Father said, when until I get to Lubbock. He said, the spirit ain't done. Because right. no. the spirit knows how we are. Right. Hmm? Yes. The spirit knows how we are. Yes. Spirit yes. wants us to maintain good works. Yes. Right. Spirit wants us, to, wants us to maintain that love that we brought down to Mexico. Yes. Huh? Yes. Amen. How, you, how you kept those spirits in check. Yes. Amen. 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 Having love for, uh, for the Mexico. Yes. He wants you to have that same love here yes. for one another. Yes. Amen. Yes. Joshua 7. Yes. Since you said that, prop, yes. Apostle. Yes. Joshua 7. Yes. Go to 7. Yes. Yeah. Joshua. It's not the very first verse. Amen. Joshua 7 and 1. For this written. Mm -hmm. But the children of Israel committed a trespass in the accursed thing for Achan. He said that the children of Israel, after all that march, yes. after Amen. the victory, Amen. Don't say nothing. The Spirit been preparing this whole time. Sister, don't say this. Brother, don't say that. Right. Uh, the Spirit needs you on one accord to go down there and admit Yeshua the Messiah in order to be effective. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Huh? Yeah. Amen. Amen. What did it say there, Brother Ezekiel? For the children of Israel committed a trespass. He said, the but the thing. children of Israel committed a trespass. Committed a trespass. Amen. Um, we back in the state, so you, you want to go back to your old self? Right. Uh, put your, your, your righteousness down. Amen. Right. Huh? Right. Because we back in the states. Yeah. Hallelujah. It shouldn't be. No. Amen. Amen. I said it shouldn't be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, read. Amen. For Achan, uh -huh. the son of Carmi. Yes. And the son of Zabdi. Uh-huh. The son of Zerah. Yes, Lord. Of the tribe of Judah. You see, that's why uh, uh, my father, he spoke the way that he spoke. Mm -hmm. Called out some names. Amen. Amen. Want us to examine ourselves because the spirit, the spirit is serious about this thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The spirit is serious. We, some of us may not be. Right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Some of us may not be, but the Spirit is serious about this thing. Yes, Apostle Washington is serious about this thing. Oh, yeah. huh? And he's trying to put it in the bishops here to be serious about this thing. Yes, and he spoke and he said, I, I, look, I told you, I'm not going to do this by myself. Right. Well, he said, yeah, you going to Mexico. Yes, you are. Right. I got to work. You going to Mexico. Yes, you are. Huh? You got a business. You going to Mexico. Yes, you are. He said, you ain't going to kill me. Mm -hmm. That's right. Especially the seven floor, huh? That's why I spoke to my father. I said I have to get some people in line. Yeah. Amen. 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 One that I can trust, amen, to be able to see this thing, the business continue while I'm gone. Yeah. Because if the business is, is a great support for what he does. Yeah. Yeah. I, I want to contribute more. Yeah. Yeah. He said, son, I know where your heart is. I said, I really want to contribute more. I said, I would love to cut a bigger check for you, my mom. Right, right, I said, but, but the way these people do things, <laughs> you know, possible. You do all this work, and it'll take four weeks before you get a get a check. Yeah. And I gotta move money here, move money there. Yeah. Gas is not being kind. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Days I weeks I may not pay myself. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Make sure the drivers get paid because how the checks are. Yeah. yeah. He said, but yeah, don't worry, son. He said, Yahweh know where your heart is. Amen. 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 He's just trying to shape you. Huh? Mold you. Hallelujah. Right. Make you stronger. Hallelujah. So you can be effective to those that will hear you. Right. Every single one of us. So we can be effective. Because we got to stop complaining when we're faced with certain That's things. Right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Everything that we go through, if you are in Yahshua the Messiah, is a learning and experience. You're supposed to learn from it. Yes, Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes, read it. The son of Zerah, of the, the child of Judah, uh -huh. took of the cursed thing. He took of the cursed thing. And the anger of Yahweh was kindled right. against the children of Israel. See, yeah, see, my father said the spirit ain't pleased with some of us. Amen. 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 He spoke, he said, pleased with some of the bishops. Yes. Uh, took of the cursed thing. Yes. Uh, what did you pick up that you weren't supposed to touch? That's right. That's right. That's right. What, what did you decide to carry? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, that you ain't supposed to be touching. Amen. That's right. That's right. Yes. 
Because before they went, the Spirit already prepared them. Yes. As the Spirit already prepared us. Hallelujah. Yes. Before Mexico. Right. Yeah. Huh? Be right. Before Mexico. Yeah. You heard a gospel preacher. Before Mexico. Yes. Yes. From the beginning. Hallelujah. Yes. But some of us, we pick up the accursed thing. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm reading. And Joshua sent men, men from Jericho to Ai, uh -huh. which is beside Bethlehem. See, read it. On the east side of Bethel, uh -huh. spoke to them saying. And see, you know, the work ain't never done. No. Amen. Hallelujah. Huh? The work yeah. ain't never done. Now Joshua, you get pre preparing these men. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Huh? To go into another city. You see, right. the work ain't the work, the work is not gonna ever be over huh? no. until it, the spirit says it's over. Yeah. Uh, until Yahweh sent his son Yeshua. Yeshua comes back. Amen. That's when the work is over. That's when the work is over. Right. Amen. Uh, if we want to continue to see blessings of Yahshua, of, of Yahweh, hallelujah, uh, we, we, there's a certain way that you and I have to continue to walk in this way here. Uh, but now you end up uh, 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 putting a damper, you end up destroying, hallelujah, uh, what the Spirit is trying to do. That's right. You know that the children of Israel um, had true victory in all things if they just would have stayed obedient. That's right. Just like every single one of us. Yes. But it's the decisions that they chose to make. Yes. And it only took one. And that's why the Spirit was trying to get us all on one accord. Yes. Yes. All on one accord because people are watching. Oh, yeah. For them to point out one individual about the jealousy out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just six months. Yes. Amen. Amen. So there's one, and this one individual yes. huh, brought forth a curse upon the camp. Yes. Huh? Yeah, we are one body. Amen. Huh? Amen. There were many members. Yeah, we are one body. Yeah. Huh? There were many members. Amen. That we are one body. Yeah. Huh? Have you ever walked and you turn the corner too quick and you stub your toe? Yeah. Huh? Your whole body responds to it. Yeah. Huh? If you're flexible enough, you put that pinky toe in your mouth. Yeah. Do anything to try to relieve the pain. Yes. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Amen. We that are spiritual mind, we trying to do everything to relieve the pain that one is causing. We do our best to try to walk and, 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 and exhort you so you can do the right thing. Yes. Huh? But don't you know when you walk disorderly, you affect the whole body? Yes. 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 When you walk disorderly, you affect the whole body. Yes. Let one sister, one sister choose not to love her husband the right way. Right. Huh? It affects the whole body. It brings a mockery. Yes. People start talking. Sister don't want to uh, sleep with her husband. Right. Hmm? That's right. Husband don't want to be with his own wife. Yes. Yes. All that brings a mockery. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it There's more work to be done. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Joshua did what here? Sent, them, sent men from Jericho to Ai, uh -huh. which is beside Bethlehem. Read it. On the east side of Bethel. Uh -huh. Spoke to them saying, yes. go up and view the country. Read it. And the men went up and viewed Ai. Uh -huh. And they returned to Joshua and said to him, uh -huh. then all, let, all, let not all the people go up. Yes. But, there, but let about two or three thousand men go up and smite Ai. Mm -hmm. And make not all the people labor there. Yes, yeah, so he looked at the man and said, this is an easy conquer. Right, uh, this is an easy victory. Right. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. yes. It's an easy victory. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, huh? As it's an easy victory. Yes. Something that should have been easily conquered. Yes. Huh? Right. But because of the accursed thing. Yes. Uh, yes. Pastor uh, Stanford, Pastor Hurley, and the bishops, we all may preach, and sometimes we say that, you know, the spirit is ready to move us higher. Right. Huh? We can see it. It's a small thing to get there. Right. Yeah. Small victory. Amen. We yeah. see it. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yes, Amen. Huh? Yes. These men, they saw how it, 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 it's possible. Yes. Yes, y'all way. Right. But one act, the action of one prevents us from moving higher. Right. Yeah. That's why you got to go back and say, as far as some of us haven't learned the Messiah, huh? still on the principles of the doctrine, right. we should be surpassing surpass the message as far as how a husband should love his wife. Yeah. Uh, but as soon as we got back, as soon as we got back, huh? you yeah. get word from love, amen, about married couples. Yeah. Amen. Huh? Take amen. up the accursed thing. Yes, sir. Hmm? Man. Let's read it. So they went up about, of, of the people of about. So they went up there of the people. Uh -huh. About three thousand men. Yes. And they fled before uh, for the men of Ai. Read it. And the men of Ai smote them, uh, smote of them about thirty-six men. Uh huh. For they chased them from the gate of even the cherubim. Read it. 
and smote them in, in, in the going down. Uh huh. Therefore, the hearts of the people melted. Yes, Lord. And became as water. Uh huh. And Joshua tore his clothes. And Joshua tore his rent with his clothes. Amen. And fell to the earth upon his face. Uh huh. Before the ark of Yahweh. So when our actions, Hallelujah, lead yeah. it, it, it troubles the man of God. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And tr our actions trouble the man of God. I was speaking to him, and he said, and he said, son, you sure? He said, well, what I want you to do, amen? amen? He said, you share what the Spirit put on your heart. Amen. Don't be fearful of the bishop. You share it. Amen. He said, some, some of the bishops scared him. Amen. He don't know what's going to come out your mouth. Yes. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of us are not trustworthy. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Some of our actions, it troubles a man of God. Yes, sir. When we know what we should do. Amen. Right. Yeah. The children of Israel, they saw how they was obedient to what Yahweh shared to them. How they got the victory over Jericho. How many did they say that Jericho straightly shut them out? Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. To the point at the end of the chapter, they said, curse that man. Hallelujah. Right. Huh? That, that, as far as that, that had built this wall over here in Jericho. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Jericho was a problem. Yes, hmm? Amen. Amen. This fortitude, if you will. Yes. Uh huh. Uh -huh. But through Yahweh, them been on one accord, the walls came down. Yeah. With a great shout, the walls came down. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, sometimes because you're looking for results, and that's why he was highly disappointed in the uh, uh, the uh, uh, the chameleon. Yes. Yeah. I said, Lord, please forgive us. Yeah. 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 Not to be so caught up in what's going on. Amen. That's what he said. I'm not the only one. Am I the only one that's watching? Amen. Know them who you labor among. Amen. Right. Amen. Huh? So before I let a man minister according to his ability, know them who you, who you labor among. Amen. That's right. I said, y'all always forgive me. Amen. 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 I have enough common sense to put the right person on a job out there on the road. Oh, yeah. uh, Brother Dean, he, he texted me the day there was a load. Amen. Uh, he said, uh, thank Yahweh you sent me. I mean, you know, he think he big and strong. All right. <laughs> you see, right. He said, thank Yahweh you sent me, prophet. He said, but this would have been a hard time for uh, Arlene and DJ. There was only two available. Lee was gone. Right. Hmm? Daddy right. gone on the load. Yes. Got enough, we have enough common sense to do deal with that, but when it comes out to the spiritual thing, right. Right. that's why we just can't be on, in here on autopilot. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Just saying amen because someone's standing before you. Somebody has to take the oversight. Amen. Huh? Yes, sir. Don't be afraid, son. Amen. He said, surely, if Susan Sinaris went to him, and she said, Pastor, am I wrong? I said, what do you mean, daughter? Mm -hmm. I, I spoke to Apostle Flores and told him that you forsook an Apostle Washington. Oh, Sister Shanira said this. He said, no, you ain't wrong. He said, the Holy Spirit revealed that to you, spoke right. to you. Right. Amen. Amen. When you stand for righteousness, yeah. Amen. now when you stand for righteousness, yeah. Yeah. so she all caught up out there. Amen. Right. And that's Amen. why some jealousy is flowing around about her. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why he spoke. Yeah, I've been in church the whole time. I'm a woman su supervisor. I'm a super. It, it don't matter. Right. Amen. 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 It's a way of doing things right. but not being disrespectful. Yes. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because when the Spirit speaks, it speaks volume. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes, read it. And Joshua tore his clothes. It said, and Joshua tore his clothes. And fell to the earth upon his face. And fell to the earth upon his face. Before the ark of Yahweh. He said, Joshua tore his clothes. Yes. Huh? Huh? Because we know what we're supposed to be doing. Right. Huh? The Spirit is expecting us to shine. Amen. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. To represent Yahshua, to be ambassador of Yahshua, the Messiah. Yeah. When it's time to do that, some of us, we fail. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. When we was on a trip, hallelujah, and the, the Spirit called for all us bishops to stand before the people introduce ourselves. Amen. Yeah. Uh, and after I finished, I began to walk back there and I, I had tears in my eyes. You saw me, I cried. Right. Amen. Yeah. And I stood behind my father and put my hand on his shoulders. Yeah. Amen. Huh? Right. And some things were said among the other bishops. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He said, oh, when they gonna learn? Amen. Why would they say this? Why would they say that? Right. Amen. Why would you translate a name? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He said, well, I'm here to establish Yahshua the Messiah so they can renounce Jesus. Right. 
Right. Amen. And know that there's salvation, no other name but Yeshua the Messiah. Right. Why would you translate a name? That's right. Amen. 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 Not thinking. No. That's right. Amen. Yes, sir. Huh? Amen. Once again, he said, take, how, take heed how you listen. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Because sometimes we just do things and be doing things. Yes. Amen. Amen. That goes for any one of us. That's why the Spirit's been hammering on us bishops. Well, it's been hammering on us. Our mother Kathy had a dream and said, even you bishops don't get away. It's been hammering on us. Hallelujah, huh? Because the Spirit's trying to move us higher. Amen. Hallelujah. The Spirit trying to move us higher. Amen. And the way you're going to do that is we got to get in the Word. Amen. You can't play with this thing. You can't get up here putting on the show. Amen. Huh? Make it, he said it well. Hallelujah. Yes. Thinking you're doing something with your expressions. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, yeah. Got to get in this Word. Amen. That's right. That is right. Yes, y'all. Yes, read it. And Joshua tore his clothes. And Joshua tore his clothes. And fell to the earth. And fell to the earth. Upon his face. Upon his face. Before the ark of Yahweh. Before the ark of Yahweh. Until the evening. Uh-huh. He and the elders of the Israel. Mm-hmm. And put dust upon their heads. Read it. And Joshua said, Alas. Uh-huh. O Lord Yahweh. Yes, Lord. Why are you at all? Yes, Lord. Brought his people over Jordan. Amen. So we give the man of God things to wrestle with. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Huh? Because of the decisions we choose to make. Yes, sir. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Amen. Things to wrestle with. Oh, yeah. Because the decision that we choose to make. When he spoke to Pastor Dewey, he, Pastor Dewey spoke and he said, I wasn't thinking. He said, I kept thinking. I was thinking about just trying to get to the airport. Right. Amen. I was just trying to think. Thinking about himself in a sense. Just trying to get to the airport. Right. Nah. Didn't mean no harm, but harm was, <laughs> yeah. was caused, if you will. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Right. My father thought he said, maybe I should have, if I was just thinking, I should have just went ahead and put Apostle Stanford for take the lead. Whenever we do things, hallelujah, and we let the man of God down. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Oh, yeah. We put him through things. Yes. Amen. We put him through things. Amen. That's right. And his whole walk is based off love. Hmm? That's right. And we said that the more that I love, the less I am loved. We don't appreciate what he do. Amen. 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 We don't really consider what he's doing. That's right. To take time. Hallelujah. That's why you, you have Sister Shanir that speaks and say, I'm I don't want to mess. I'm afraid to mess up. I don't want to let the man of God down. Right. Right. That's why I cried. Amen. Yeah. Huh? Because I see how I let the man of God down. Yeah. Huh? As his own son, I let him down. Yeah. I let yeah. Yahweh down. Yeah. 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 You take heed how you listen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Huh? Don't leave the flock. You take heed how you listen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 Take heed our ways. I got Sister Arlene who works for me. Amen. Amen. And my father often speak about her being the most valuable worker to me. She take heed how she listen. Amen. Hallelujah. First day on the job, she had made a mistake. Amen. It was a simple mistake. Very simple. Hallelujah. Um, but yet she cried and she cried and she cried because she didn't want to let me down. Right. Amen. That's how we all should think. I want to let, uh, let the man of God down. I don't want to let Yahweh down because it's dependent on us. Amen. Um, when it comes down to the work of the ministry. And that's why it don't matter how hot it is. When it's coming down to a fundraiser, yeah. right. it doesn't matter if you go without, amen, to save your money to make this trip. Right. He said, I want us all to make it. That's why he said, something didn't take it serious enough. He said, I'm not your judge, amen? Um, but I know what the Spirit shared with us all. I'm not your judge, but I know what the Spirit shared with us all. Amen. 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 Yes, Yahweh. Amen. Spirit cleaning up. Yeah. Huh? Amen. Because this the Mexico is real. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was saying, son, you never know because the people out there, huh, from uh, 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 further down south in other countries, amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They may get wind of this thing. Yeah. Amen. That's why I need y'all bishops to be strong. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Father Yahweh. Amen. Yes, read it. And Joshua said, Alas, O Lord, o Lord Yahweh, uh -huh. 
Why have you at all brought this people over the Jordan? Read it. To deliver us into the hand of the Amorites. Read it. To destroy us. Uh-huh. But to God, we had been content and yes, dwelt on the other side of the Jordan. Uh-huh. O oh Lord, what shall I say? Yes. When Israel turns their back before their, for their enemies, mm -hmm. for the Canaanites and all the inhabitants of the land yes. shall hear of it. Yes. And shall you know, surround us. Whenever we, 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 we choose to take their curse thing, once again, let you know that we can bring a mockery. Yes. People, they hear about it. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. There's some people that's praying for this downfall. Right. right. Hallelujah. Hmm. They're praying for the downfall. I thought that church was supposed to. Amen. Right. I thought they believed like this. Yes. I thought they was about love. Right. What's the purpose of going to Mexico, huh? To go down there and, and tell people how they supposed to be to their husband. Yeah. Huh? Be to their wife. Amen. Right. Right. Huh? And how I am at the grocery store, and I walk by. I'm not even at the church, but I know what y'all doing out there. Right. Right. And I see y'all arguing. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. Amen. One thing I love about the Spirit, and that's why I cried. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Apostle Paul told those men, huh, those bishops that he was preparing when he was getting ready to leave, he said, I have not hid anything from you concerning the Messiah. Right. And the Spirit don't hide nothing from us. It shows us ourselves. Amen. Yeah. Huh, it shows us what it wants from us. Yeah. Hmm? To the point of Paul said uh, 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 that, that he had uh, uh, revealed unto us. He made a mystery known unto us. Yeah. His will. Yeah. He made it known unto us. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Every single one of us, we know the will of Yahweh. Amen. Hmm? We know it. Huh? Brother Blake is not here. He's supposed to be here tonight. Mm -hmm. I spoke to him. I said, you going to be at service tonight? He said, yes. Mm -hmm. He's probably tired from the job that they did. Amen. Brother Lee here. Amen. Huh? Amen. Oh, yes. But he was speaking. He said, I know. Huh? My father said, if you, if, if you know it, then do it. Right. right. Uh, there was a situation where Brother Lee dealing with the job and him and Brother Blake was on. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and uh, I told him, I said, it's very important that y'all be here at 12 o'clock. You got to be here at 12 o'clock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brother Blake showed up at the house at 12. I called Brother Lee. Where you at? Uh, I'm on my way. Where are you? I'm at the house. I said, Brother, do, do you understand as far as the matter of us being here at 12 o'clock? He said, I know. I said, you don't know. Right. Right. And it, it might have hurt his feelings. Maybe. I said, you don't know. Mm -hmm. Because if you know, you'll be here. Hallelujah. If you know the will of the Messiah, like we, we say we do, because he made it known unto us. Yeah. When we say amen, hallelujah, yeah. and we put our hands up and we raise it, hallelujah, yeah. and we say we know, we agree, we understand, yeah. but where's the action behind it? Yeah. Huh? Where's the fruit behind it? Where's the love behind it, the consolation behind it? Yeah. That's right. So I have to let him know. I say you don't know. Amen? Amen. Because if you know, you'll be here. Hallelujah. So I don't care about uh, uh, if you have to be over there waiting two or three hours. Yeah. Right. I can care less about that. Yeah. Right. The Amen. thing is to stay true to what they're asking of. The thing is to stay true to what Yahweh is asking of us. Yeah. Yeah. To stay true to the things that he's asking of us. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That is right. To stay true to the very thing that you and I attest to. Yes. 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 There should be no more bickering between husband and wives. Yes. Because you're staying true to the teaching. Yes. Right. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You stay true how you should work on your job. You stay true. That's why I don't have no problems out of her. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Once again, yeah. amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Once again, yeah. huh? here we go. Once again, okay. this might hurt feelings, but I ask my father, say, I don't care because I'm trying, the spirit trying to perfect us. Right. Right. Once again, huh? it's boning season. Yeah. It's bonus week. Yeah. Huh? Guess who got it? Once again. You can't say it's respect the person. No, huh? you're, you're lying on me. Right. Huh? Amen. You're lying on me if you say it's respect the person. Yes. Once again, who got it? Arlene. Sister Arlene. Amen. The thing is to stay, stay true yes. to the very thing that you say you agree to. Amen. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Amen. You won't forget it. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. To the point that James said that be a doer of the word and not a hearer only. Right. Hmm? Yes. 
Because if you are a, 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 a hearer of the word and not a doer, a doer you're like a man that's beholding his natural face in a glass. Yes. Huh? And straight away you forget what man of man you are. That's how some of us are. Yeah. Huh? Whether it's work, you know what you're supposed to do, but as soon as you get in the van, yeah. brothers. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm, uh, it's a parable for you, but it's true. Yes. It's reality. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You get on the road and you forget what you're supposed to do. You forget how to communicate. Yeah. Right. That's what affected the, the bonus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Amen? Hallelujah. Accidents. Huh? Yes. Right. Issues and all that. But so with salvation. Yes. Amen. Right. We forget what we're supposed to do. You know it. Amen. You sit here and you know it. Right. Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. But as soon as you 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 leave this reflection of yours. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And the reflection is in the house of Yahweh. That's right. huh? Because when you're in here, you see yourself. Yeah. Right. Huh? Yeah. When you're in here, you see yourself. Right. Uh huh. That's why Pastor Washington said, "Now nah, y'all looking like the saints of Pakula." Huh? And where it go for it? You see yourself. Y'all seeing yourself tonight. Right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Huh? Heads there, heads here. Yeah. Hallelujah. In this place that you see yourself. Yeah. Huh? Hallelujah. But when you walk out from doors, yeah. huh? you forget what man of man you're supposed to be. Yeah. Huh? You forget what man of woman you're supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. Mexico is not going away. Amen. Mexico actually made some of us better for the time. That's right. Because they were afraid of getting in trouble out there. Yes. You heard he was talking about you tell me y'all you might get embarrassed. I don't want that to be me. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. So you become one of us. Um, um, for those few days. Right. Right. Hallelujah. But soon as the plane touched down, yeah. you go back to being you. Yes. Right, man. Read it. Yes. For the Canaanites and all the inhabitants of the land uh -huh. shall hear of it. Shall hear of it. Shall surround us uh -huh. and cut off our, our name from the earth. Yes, Lord. And what will you do to your great name? Read it. And Yahshua said to Joshua, uh -huh. Get you up. Get you up. Why you lie thus upon your face? Uh huh. Israel has sinned. Yes, Lord. And have also transgressed my covenant. Yes, Lord. Which I commanded them. See, that's what Apostle Washington, he, he wants us to understand. Amen. Yes. That's what he was pointing out to us bishops. Yes. Huh? Yes. To any one of us. Hallelujah. Right. Oh, and that we can yes. clean ourselves up. Yes. Huh? We can step up. Hallelujah. Yes. Huh? And, 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 and be better than what we are. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes, read it. Israel has sinned. Uh huh. And they have also transgressed my covenant. And also transgressed my covenant. Which I commanded them. Uh huh. For they have even taken, for they have even taken over the cursed thing. Yes, Lord. And have also stolen. And deceived also, mm -hmm. and they have put it among, even among their own stuff. He said, "What?" Yes. And they have put it even among their own stuff. Uh huh. See, he said, uh, "And putting among their own stuff." Yes. I have stolen. Yes. Amen. Somebody picked up something they weren't supposed to be picking up. Right. Yes. Huh? That's right. That's right. Eventually, we find out as they came. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. They've done such a thing. Right. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Don't you even know that that money that pays so how it belongs to the Lord? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. The treasure of, of, of Jericho, it belonged to the Lord. That's right. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It belonged to the Lord. Yes. Um, but Achan had wanting eyes. Right. 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 Hmm? Yes. He had lust. Amen. Amen. Behind a little twinkle, twinkle. Yes. Amen. Amen. Took up the curse thing. Amen. The curse didn't be anything with us. Right. Um, but I'm speaking about the pesos now. Yes. Uh, don't you know that money belonged to Yahweh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that money belonged to Yahweh. Yeah. Huh? It was uh, unfortunately because of the way things turned out, amen. And we all were supposed to turn the money into him. Yeah. Right. Huh? It's supposed to have been turned into him, but because of how things transpired. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. None of us shouldn't be keeping five our, our pesos because we know we're gonna make another trip. Yeah. I can use this when I go back. That might, it don't belong to you. No. Huh? That belonged to the Lord. It don't belong to you. Right. I mean, I believe that a collection was made. Yeah. Huh? But just in case, some of us is crafty. Ananias and Sapphira. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm? You hear what the Spirit is saying? Yeah. Hmm? You heard Pastor, he said that uh, 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 it could have been converted back to American money. Yeah. Right. For a less val the value. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Hallelujah. Hmm? They let the pay, so it belonged to the Lord. That's right. Hallelujah. The Spirit already instructed us. And when we go out there, amen? Yes. Huh? That we go out there to buy Huh, to leave tips. That, that was a Lord money. The Lord told us what we're supposed to do with it. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Uh, so if you have something, put to the side somewhere because you know the Spirit is, gonna, is, is pressing us to go back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Right. I don't know who it's supposed to be turned into. Right. Amen. Yes. But give it to him. Yes. He was saying, tell him, he would tell me, he said, son, we need fundraising. We need it. The bank is broke. Right. Yes. That account is empty. Yes. Hmm? Yes. It's empty. Yes. Because you got 500 pesos saying somewhere. Somewhere. That helps. Yes. Yeah, 500 pesos. Yeah. I know I got a 500 peso boy. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, read Ezekiel. Time getting away. Therefore, the children of Israel uh -huh. cannot stand before their enemies. He said, therefore, the children of Israel cannot stand before their enemies. But turn their backs. But turn their backs. Before their enemies. Uh huh. Because they were cursed. Because they were cursed. Either way, I'll be with you. Mm -hmm. You wonder why you can't get the victory over some things. Right. Mm -hmm. You're cursed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There was things that I could not get the victory over because I was cursed. Amen. I was sharing with my father. I said, Dad, I didn't realize how selfish I was. Mm -hmm. I said, I didn't realize how selfish I was. And he was that's what he was saying, son. You remind me of myself. Right. I'm not boasting in myself. No. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, having a love for the people, the things that some of the drivers have put you through, the money that you lost. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm willing to sacrifice. Amen. Yeah. Hun, hun, to spend and to uh, be spent. Amen. There was time with the business just didn't have the money. My wife can bear witness to it. That we didn't pay ourselves for two or three weeks. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. For the mistakes that one made, but they kept getting the check. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Huh? Yes. How he pulled out his card yes. with the vans. Who can be bold enough to do it? Right. right. Amen. 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 He said the spirit showed him that some of us had the money. Yes. Uh, to the point when we got left behind. Right. Amen. There was talk that we're going to have to buy tickets. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. Buy tickets. Amen. Right. I said, well, Yahweh, if it's thy will, amen, for me to have to purchase these tickets. Amen. Yes, and, uh, uh, um, I, just, I just told you about what's going on with the business account. Oh, yeah. As soon as I got back, I just knew I had a big check waiting. I said, woo, yes. I know we got a big check waiting. <laughs> Father already prophesied, when we get back, we're going to have to work harder again. <laughs> exactly. The thing, the thing that's going to be waiting for it, yes. because the sacrifices, I do this way. Uh, 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 he said I had to dig yourself out of a hole. Right. So I get that. I know a check gonna be waiting. No, Hallelujah! I done paid a prophet Jenkins in advance for what he did. Yeah, no, Hallelujah! Yeah. Hallelujah! Huh? Paid everybody uh, early. Got paid. Everybody know they get paid on Thursday. This payday, huh? Amen. Hallelujah! It's payday. They get paid on Thursday. I paid on Thursday. We making a trip Wednesday. So everybody text now. We gonna get paid early. You know because we gonna be out of town. We're gonna get paid early. And I'm looking at the count. Looking at my wife. I said, well, maybe y'all will bless a bigger check. You know, you know how it is. The business making the money, but they, they just take forever to pay it. Yes. That's why I can't afford you going to the wrong place. As he was sharing with Brother uh, Blake, you, when you look, you're supposed to be in Waco. Make sure the GPS say Waco. Yes. Or wax a hatchet, but you in Waco. Because yes. all that, that, that that's, that's a waste of gas, a waste of time. Yes. You ain't thinking about it. You, you, I messed up. And I got over here, I dropped it, and I'm going to get paid for it. Gas is hot. I'm losing money. Yeah, so I just knew I knew a check gonna be waiting. It was waiting for me. I go over there, pick it up. It said two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. I spend two thousand dollars in two days in gas. Yeah. 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 The money I paid everybody. Yes. Uh, 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 that Thursday, and then turn around and paid y'all what? Was that, that Monday, Tuesday? Before we made a trip? Yeah. I said, my lord. How we gonna do this? Right. How we gonna do this? But you know, Yahweh's in control. Say, let tomorrow troubles take care of itself. I have to think about the script. Well, I let tomorrow let it take care of itself. Yes. You still driving? You still putting gas in there? You still putting gas in it? You, <laughs> Brother Lee. <laughs> Spirit's in control. Of course. Amen. I lost my train of thought where I was going with this. But go ahead, the Spirit's trying to get me to wrap up, that's why it's 858. Neither will I be with you anymore. Neither will I be with you anymore. Unless you destroy the accursed th from, from among you. Uh-huh. Up, sanctify the people. Up and sanctify the people. And say, uh-huh. Sanctify yourselves against tomorrow. Up and sanctify the people. Amen. The Spirit wants us to sanctify ourselves. Yeah. Amen. Amen. In, order for, in order for us to get the victory over how Satan is fighting against us, we got to sanctify ourselves. Yeah. Hmm? I, I know, I know that... <laughs> We don't want to go through certain things. 
Right. Mm-hmm. That's why we do the things that we do. Amen. Because we don't want we don't want to go through it. We don't want to suffer. Right. Um, but you have to have love for this thing, Amen. just like Apostle Washington has it. Yes. Um, you have to have love like for this thing. How you read about uh, Apostle Paul, how he had it. Yes. Amen. He Amen. he went through much, but he allowed the situation to change him. Amen. The things that he was faced with, he could have handled it all types of ways. But he had a love for this thing. I think about him in on this note here. Because <clears throat> I got Sister Shanira, she's trying to get with me. With me. I think about Apostle Paul, amen? And this is why you have to think about that you can't let nothing separate you from the love of the Messiah. Right, what love? The work of this ministry? Amen. What's that? Mexico. We can't let none, nothing. Can't let our jobs. Nothing. We can't let a love of money. Hmm? Hallelujah. Spirit is not focused on us right now to save and build a life for ourselves. Amen. It's asking for great sacrifice. Right. Uh, huh? Sacrifice is standing on corners. Huh? Yeah. And also put money up to make the trip. Right. Yeah. Right now, the Spirit is talking about we're going to be gone for a whole week next time. Yeah. Saying, that means more money, uh-huh. more planning, prioritizing, yeah. Yeah. being serious. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you, you, can, you have to have an a, 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 a unfeigned love for this thing. Yeah. Right. But I think about Apostle Paul and his man. I, I got to finish in the end here. I think about when him and uh, Apostle uh, Barnabas was in Iconium. Iconium. Hallelujah. Right. Huh? Amen. And there was a, uh, there was a man that, that was ill and he healed him. And you had these Jews that came from yeah. Antioch. Yeah. Hallelujah. And, and they was, of course, they was upset with Paul about the things that he preached and all that. Yes. And they stoned him. And they, yes. and they thought he was dead. Paul rose up and he went into the next city of Derby. Amen. That's right. Uh-huh. He went to the next city of Derby and he said that he preached the gospel there. Then he turned back into Barnabas. Yes. And he said, let us go back to Lystra. Let's yes. go back to that same place where these people wow. hmm? right. harm me. Hallelujah. Yeah. He said, so that we may confirm the souls of those disciples. Yes. Amen. Amen. And exhort them that they continue in this thing here. Amen. So, despite what you're faced with, despite how the situation is yeah. affecting you. Right. Yes. Amen. Amen. Despite how it might hurt our pockets here and there. Yeah. Huh? Despite where it might bring discomfort and you lack right. here and there. Yeah. Huh? It's our obligation. Amen. <laughs> huh? As brothers and sisters of the faith. Yeah. Hallelujah. To see this thing continue to, 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 to uh, 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 exhort those yeah. brothers out there in Mexico. Yeah. Once again, my brothers and sisters. Yeah. Huh? Perfect love. Cast out fear. That's right. Spirit is persuaded better things of us. These things that accompany salvation. May Yahweh bless you and may Yahweh keep you. Let us all rise and receive Deacon. He's not back there. Brother Chris by saying praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. I want to thank Yahweh for the words that came from Apostle Hurley and Prophet Washington. Let's all take these words and apply them to our life. All right, let's do the. Uh, let's all. Uh, let's all get ready and for the sharing, uh, tithing, and offering. Let's all rise. Amen. 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 Oh, Heavenly Father Yahweh, we thank you for your, 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 this night, Father Yahweh, that you gave us the breath of life to come to hear your words, Father Yahweh, through the bishops. We thank you for all things, Father Yahweh. We thank you for the words that came from Apostle Hurley and, and Apostle, um, Apostle Washington and Prophet Washington. Um, we thank you for all things that we, we for Yeshua's name, amen. amen. Turn the hands of the ushers.
She has cancer. Her name is Miss Miss Black. So keep her in your prayers. Uh, we'll be having a church fundraiser Saturday at 8 a.m. Um, at the same location off of Camp Wisdom and Sublet. Um, also, if you have not paid your $26 due, your $26 dues, please give that to Mother Renee tonight. And then we'll be having a church dinner 
on July 17th. Again, we'll get back with you as far as the pricing and everything, but prepare yourself for the church dinner on July 17th, which is a Sunday. Amen. Amen. Any more announcements? Anybody who need prayer, uh, come forth and a brother will anoint your head for prayer. Amen. Let's all rise for a word of prayer. Father Yahweh, we pray to your precious Son, the Yeshua Messiah. We thank you, Yahweh, for the words that came forth, Father Yahweh. Now we know these are your words. We ask you to touch those who are afflicted with pain, Father Yahweh, or sick or ill, and those who didn't be able to make it, Father Yahweh. Put in their hearts to come forth tonight, uh, next, next time, Father Yahweh. We thank you for all things. Oh, give thanks unto Yahweh, for he is good. He is because of mercy to it forever. Let the house of Israel now say, this is when his mercy do it forever. Let the house of Aaron now say, let his mercy do it forever. Let them now fear Yahweh say, that his mercy do it forever. Let Yeshua the Messiah, all the church say, Amen.